Hey guys, so if you're anything like me, you've been playing the Binding of Isaac beta like crazy since it came out, and at some point, you probably realize that all your saved data is gone. What did you do to my drink? I do. I do. You what? Don't freak out. I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step instructions on how to get all your data back. So first off, this fix is not my own. It was found on Reddit, and it was made by x 44 ou 2 and Meat C Cereal. So shout out to those guys for figuring this out. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the properties panel on the Binding of Isaac, right click, go to properties, and then you're gonna wanna turn off the Steam Cloud. Next, you're gonna wanna use the search function on your computer until you find the actual Binding of Isaac repentance file that has uh, your games and your backups in it. Now from here, everyone should have a folder that says save backups. So you're gonna click on this and you're gonna look at the date modified here to find your most recent save from before you initiated the online beta. You're also gonna see here the name of the files. It says uh, persistent game data one, game data two, game data three, and that corresponds to the three files that you can have in the binding of Isaac. So now in order to make these your actual game files, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the three that you want, you're going to copy them, and then you're going to go back up and paste them here. Now I've already done this for mine, but I'll show you guys anyway. So now once it pastes here, what you're gonna do is you're going to rename it Persistent Game Data 1, the way I did here. And you're gonna do that for all three. Also, to be sure that the Steam Cloud is actually off, you're going to go into Options, and then here where it says Steam Cloud, you're going to change it from, to a zero from a one. From here, you should be able to start the game. And once you started it, all your files and your check marks should be back the way that they were. After this, make sure you go back to properties and re-enable the Steam Cloud. And if it asks you, make sure you use your local files instead of your cloud files. So this fix worked for me. Hopefully it works for you. Let me know in the comments if it works. Tell your friends. And until then, we'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.